Let us study what happens when a diode is biased to operate at a certain point on the forward transfer characteristic and a small AC signal is superimposed on the DC quantities. Remember we studied small signals in the previous module? Our objective is to keep the output voltage confined to an almost linear segment of the graph. Take a look at this circuit showing the DC and AC voltages separately. This graph shows what we are trying to achieve. Note that these values are for a diode having n equals 2. The tangent has a slope at q equal to 1 over rd. The small signal is assumed to have a triangular waveform. In reality, it could have any waveform. It is superimposed on the DC voltage as you can see here. In absence of the small signal, the diode will have a DC current ID given by this equation. This is because all the DC voltage VD appears across the diode in the absence of the small signal. But how did we separate the AC and DC voltages so easily? We will soon find out. Next, consider when the small signal is applied as we can see in this figure. The instantaneous voltage will be given by this equation. This is not Kirchhoff's voltage law, but this is the definition of instantaneous voltage in small signal approximations as AC value is superimposed on the DC value. The total instantaneous diode current IDT will be this equation. Substituting the first equation into the second one, that is the instantaneous voltage into the current gives us the instantaneous current value as this equation. This can be rewritten as this equation. Now let's use this one and we get where we have replaced the current due to the DC voltage with the term ID with a capital D. Now, if the amplitude of the signal VDT is kept sufficiently small such that VD over NVT is much smaller than 1, then we may expand the exponential of this equation in a series and truncate the series after the first two terms to obtain the approximate expression ID into 1 plus VD over NVT. This is the small signal approximation. It is valid for signals smaller than about 10 millivolts for n is equal to 2 and 5 millivolts for n equals to 1. Getting inside the brackets, we can see that ID can be written as this equation. Notice how just like in the case of voltages, the DC and AC component are both separated neatly. This quantity here is a conductance. The inverse of it is RD, the inverse of the slope of tangent in the characteristic curve and it is given by this expression. This is also known as an incremental resistance and diode small signal resistance. We can replace the diode by this resistance in our analysis. Notice that RD is also relationship between ID and VD. Because RD exists, we can say that voltages and currents both can be separated as small signals, that is AC and DC quantities. Specifically, if we want to carry out small signal analysis, we eliminate all DC sources, short circuiting voltage sources and open circuiting current sources. This is done after we carry out DC analysis where diode is not replaced by the small signal model. The model is only employed in small signal analysis. We will study these in more detail in subsequent courses. Now let us take a look at an example to study this better.